welcome friends uh, in this video we'll be talking about the important microbes in the sewage treatment plant now there are several variety of microorganisms that are uh, taken in this the sewage treatment system or wastewater treatment plant because uh, not uh, not a single or uh, a single bacteria cannot establish all the job on its own so we must need a combination of whole different type of bacteria to achieve the job now here are the types of different bacteria like the nitrifying bacteria, denitrifying bacteria as well as the methanogen uh, which, are the which are responsible for producing methane. Now nitrifying bacteria are aerobic uh, bacteria and they can convert nitrogenous waste into nitrate. Now as uh, we can see this nitrogenous waste like ammonia and all these products are toxic to health but when it is converted into nitrate it becomes less toxic. So this is a very good in, uh, type of microorganisms or this is a very good uh, type of chemical reaction to make uh, the material non-toxic. Now the second type was the denitrifying bacteria. This, most of the de these denitrifying bacteria are anaerobic bacteria. They can convert nitrate to nitrogen and they can release this nitrogen in the open air to the environment or to the atmosphere. Now the third type of microorganisms that are used are called the methanogens. Now they can deliver methane gas. Now they can deliver these gases from the organic substances or organic materials by breaking down those organic materials. But this step or process is not directly uh, happen. So the for happening of this step, uh, one must con uh, break down those polymers into monomers. Then the fermentation of those monomers produce carbon dioxide and acetate sometimes. Then they will take those carbon dioxide and acetate and convert them into methane gases. Sometimes they can uh, directly derive these methane gases from this complex uh, structure uh, as we are looking at in this table. Now there are three different types of methanogens which are given in this picture. One is the carbon dioxide reducing. Let me zoom in. Okay. Now here we can see one is the carbon dioxide reducing uh, bacteria. Now these are this type of bacteria, uh, they utilize carbon dioxide and hydrogen and can produce methane. Another one uh, type of uh, this, uh, uh, these are the formic acid like this. Now they can take this and drag uh, methane out of it. Okay. Now their second type is the methyl reducing. So we have methyl groups or methyl groups like CHCOH or CHCNHCCL. So they, they can drag methane out of this type of complex structure and can produce methane, carbon dioxide and water. And the third type of uh, these methanogens are acid acetic clastic now acetic clastic methanogens as you can see th from from the acetic acid CHCOH they can dri derive methane gas and carbon dioxide okay so these are the different variations of different types of methanogens uh, that we are looking now let us talk about the nitrifying bacteria we have talked before the different types of nitrifying bacteria but what are the roles of this bacteria now nitrifying bacteria can convert the ammonia ammonium compounds into nitrate which are less toxic now ammonia has a high BOD because ammonia oxidation requires oxygen so for this purpose it can uh, it can release the BOD by converting it into nitrate two groups of microbes are involved in this process of nitrification one type of uh, them called ammonia oxidizing bacteria or AOB for short and second type are called the nitrate oxidizing bacteria or NOB for short. Now ammonia oxidizing bacteria can oxidize ammonium into nitrite then uh, they can also convert this nitrite into nitrate and, fi and finally this nitrate is a less toxic form and they can uh, deposit it. Okay. Now uh, the, the step of conversion of ammonia into nitride involves two different steps. One is ammonia monooxygenase uh, step. Another one is called the hydroxylamine oxid oxidoreductase step. Okay, so these are the two steps which are involved uh, to convert ammonia into a nitride. Okay, and the conversion of nitride into nitrate only involves one step, and uh, so no enzyme complex is used in this case but one must process this ammonia monooxygenase and the hydroxylamine oxidoreductase or ammo and how for converting ammonia into nitrite okay now this is the whole complex system how uh, the bacterial cell can convert this ammonium uh, into nitrate 
okay uh, into nitride for the, for the first place so ammonium is uptaken here and utilizes a oxygen so for this purpose they must have the proper supply of oxygen throughout the time it utilizes this oxygen and ammonia produce NH2OH and then the water they react with water and they derive this and produce NO2 minus now this is the reaction center which is com uh, composed of um, two or three different enzymes to make the enzyme complex of AMO and HOA and, and to convert nit ammonium into nitrite. Now this is the second type of steps to convert this nitrite into nitrate. Now this is another enzyme co enzyme complex to convert this into nitrate. Okay, via this system. Okay, via the nitrate oxidoreductase. Now nitrate oxidoreductase can further reduce this nitrite into nitrate. Now you can see nitrate uh, nitrite is taken up and utilizes the oxygen again and again convert it into nitrate. Now oxygen in, in this case in each cases as we are looking at here, they are just donating electrons in each different steps and reduce themselves onto H2O. They so, so, so in this case not donating sorry in this case they are uptaking this uh, electrons to produce this H2O. Okay. So what they are doing they are converting this ammonia into hydroxylamine in the very first step then then convert this hydroxylamine to the nitrite. Now you can see here this AMO it converts this ammonium into this hydroxylamine NH2OH then the second uh, group of enzymes which are HOA is converting this uh, hydroxylamine into nitrite. Then NOR system or uh, nitrite oxidoreductase system will uptake this nitrite and convert them into nitrate. Now how they can convert it? By, uh, by the donation of electron from nitrite into this water. They convert this uh, nit uh, electron to the oxygen, they convert uh, this transfer this oxygen into water and thus it, it transfers itself to make NO3 minus. Okay. Uh, now let's look at some of the ammonia oxidizing bacteria or AOBs. Now here are different species of ammonia oxidizing bacteria. Uh, this is nitrosomonas species and uh, AB are both type of nitrosomonas species. It is a zoomed view and this is called the nitrosolobus. -so -so now nitrosolobus -so as well as nitrosomonas both can oxidize ammonia okay, and convert them into nitrite then nitrate. Now on the other hand we are having nitrite oxidi oxidizing bacteria. Now nitrite oxidizing bacteria can convert nitrite into nitrate. Uh, like example here we are having nitrospira. This is the nitrospira and this is the nitrococcus. Now nitrococcus is uh, round in shape and nitrospira is arranged in spiral uh, like structure. But this is also a short, uh, short rod like structure. Okay. So these are all about uh, the microorganisms that are used in this wastewater treatment and I hope it will help you. Thank you.